Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. So you heard the woman, we better get to work on these bad, bad people. Get it? Because there's, there's three of them. <coughs> we spawn reading the newspaper, enjoying the nice Italian sun of the morning as we stand to begin a good day of work. Now I immediately hear a possible kill method coming from these two maniacal bastards as one wants to enjoy the sun while the other wants to get to work early. Now as the good Samaritan I am, I decide to, well, help this guy enjoy the sun by taking over his place as the new chef in town. Of course I throw away that idea as I fail to find an entrance that could possibly lead to my subject's death. Thus I move on to greater places and try and find another way to kill my enemies. Such moving on to another two whispering to each other about the new private investigator in town. Now I hear this and think maybe this is my way out of a life of crime where I have to kill or be killed and become something where my heart truly deserves. I killed him. So I moved on to my little conversation with Mr. Santo and kill her. However, with difficulty as my small rat brain can create an idea without fucking it up somehow in some way, shape, or form. Now on to the next target, and if you know me, I like to leave the big fish for last. So off we went to get a private access to the virus chamber by using the corpse of the deceased to our advantage. Knocking out their friends, stealing their stuff, just to complete the mission. Hey, at least I didn't kill anyone. That's for later. Now I entered the underground facility which is super secret and destroyed the virus, the best way I knew how, in front of a crowd of people. Classified smooth brain right here ladies and gentlemen. Two down, the final showdown between Silvio Caruso and Agent 47 begins. Who will win? I basically just punched him in the nuts by using his mental health issues about his dead mother to beat him up. So I might be low when it comes to kill methods but I do provide results. I escape, cutscene plays, not right now, run 2, this time I come in as a master chef, just as I tried to before, but this time it actually worked. I decided to help Silvio as he was having trouble with his chefs making a mockery of his mother's Chef food, Marcello. so I decided to spice up his life by adding something I like to call rat poison to help relieve Silvio Caruso of his life. Once I killed Silvio, I decided to try and enter the super secret facility, but this time I didn't have the special important key guard, so I said forget about it, knocked out a guard, walked around Silvio's house, insulted his dead mother for the third time in this video, kept walking around, saw these two men talking, grabbed this ting and got sussed. 
Oh yeah, those last two things were actually a part of an objective that I had to give to Mr. Sand. I go on a nice stroll around the Silvio house trying to escape Red who's been sussing me out for no reason at all. Like I didn't jump off the roof or through a window and if I did, I don't think those are real reasons to make me the imposter. I didn't vent, of course. Dumb Finally, I was able to return the DNA sample back to Mr. While. Santa, but proceeded to get sussed again just because I was bold. I, for some reason, decided to head to Miss Caruso's room to hide and look through my opportunities, which I haven't done for a while. By the way, for reference, I have done these missions and these ones are for the foreseeable future. I found a new objective to try, and it seems to be romantical. Time to put on our endgame, Agent 47. Nice one, 47. Bros before the women, as they say in the French. Which is where we are, right? Now, destroying the virus is the same each time, so nothing really changes with that. And move on to round three. This time I spawn in as a guard and have to protect Mr. Santa, but of course I don't have to, I have a job and it's to protect this city. Now I redid by the candles as you can't actually kill Mr. Santa in any other way in any other opportunity. So I killed her with a bit of poison and that's it. Champagne! Roberto! How could you? Now it's time to complete memory lane. I have to thoroughly investigate the house to enter the area. I need to go and begin to play the tapes of Silvio's family. I hide in what looks to be a plague doctor's outfit and proceed to let Silvio enjoy the last moments of his life to see seeing his past. Once I finished that, I loaded up a quick save, began a new mission where I had to lure Silvio to into his dead mother's room. Jesus Christ, why, why are all of these missions just so morbid? I then reload a quick save again and begin the good son where Silvio has to pay tribute to his dead mother. I picked up some flowers for his mother, let him say his goodbyes and finished him off. So that's the end of Italy. Let's fly off and see what's happening in Johannesburg. Ethan security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. <laughs>